Hey everyone, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back to weekly vlog number five. It's crazy. I can't believe I've gotten this far now. <laughs> Time really does fly, that's for sure. Sorry this one came a little bit later than expected. There's been a lot of releases, uh, aka Bravely Default, that I have been focusing on video-wise, um, but my weekly vlog is finally here. So let's see what I got this week. So in terms of gaming, it's been all about Bravely Default, <laughs> as you can imagine. You know, I'm sure a lot of you are probably well ahead of me in the game just because this weekend was so insanely busy. Like, so busy I did not have a whole lot of time to play. But uh, I'm doing pretty good. I am actually in Chapter 2 right now. I just went through Florum and I was about to do the side quests there when I realized that I didn't do some side quests in Anchime before I went to the Poisonous Swamp. So I went and did that and got some some more job asterisks. So I'm back in Anchim. I'm gonna head back to that godforsaken swamp. I am not looking forward to that swamp. I do not want to go back there. I really hate that place. <laughs> but I know my way around now at least, so maybe I'll just jump through some poison puddles? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah, no, I just, I really wanted some of those new jobs. I don't want to spoil too much, but I am going to say that <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually super stoked to start using the Spell Fencer and the Time Mage because haste rocks. I mean, if you have uh, haste and you're a ninja, then you are... You are God at that point. <laughs> but being a spell fencer is wicked. And right now, in terms of my team, everyone's around like level 22. So they're not, you know, not as high as I would like. By this point, I should be at level 30, to be honest. But I haven't had a whole lot of time. So I think that Tiz, who is currently my knight, he's going to become my spell fencer. Agnes, she is my white mage. And she's probably, I don't know, I'll probably switch her to something else as well. We'll see. We'll see. I really, I like keeping my wet, my wet, <laughs> my white mages as white mages, but I might give her something else. Maybe I'll end up giving her time mage uh, abilities because, I mean, haste. Come on, guys. Seriously. Uh, Adia is my black mage right now. Uh, once I get the red mage uh, job asterisk, then I'm probably going to be melding the two there. And then Ringabel is my monk, and he is just badass. <laughs> he is badass with his fists, so he can stay that way for now until I get some more interesting jobs. I have a few, but there's some that I'm not nearly as interested in as others. Uh, Thief, actually I have melded, I have melded um, Ringabel with the Thief job as well, but Merchant, meh, meh, I'm not too interested. Uh, money, I grind anyway, so I get a whole bunch of money. So yeah, um, I'm excited to see where this takes me, and I have two more, I believe, two more jobs that I'm going to be getting on the side quest I'm heading to right now. So yeah, I, uh, I really enjoy this game a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, now, in addition, um, when I'm filming this, it's Monday, but when you're watching it, um, Oh, Trigger Happy Havoc is actually already going to be out. I pre-ordered the game on Nipponichi's website just so I could get the collector's edition. So probably when you're watching this, I already have it, but right now I do not have it. So I am super stoked for that. I'm going to be doing a unboxing video and a review, probably. It's pretty light game, so I think I can juggle the two and then um, get back to Breath of Fire as well. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. There's a, there's a lot to cover. Another thing I want to say is uh, a friend of mine, a new friend of mine, who I met um, during the Bravely Default launch party at EB Games was telling me about this amazing collector's edition for Final Fantasy X-10-2 you can get on the Square Enix website. I did not know about this. I was going to pre-order at EB Games and I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. It's going to be a lot of money, so I don't know if I can, if I can do all the all of this, but we'll see. Uh, actually, speaking of the Bravely Default launch party, I ended up winning the giveaway that night and I got a regular edition of Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, which is amazing, but I already have my collector's edition pre-ordered and I'm not giving up on that. I don't care what anyone says, I'm not giving up on that. I'm not gonna give it to you. <laughs> so instead, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for that game very soon, so please stay tuned if you want this new Tales game, well it's not really a new Tales game, but remastered Tales game, you could be the one. Now for anime, I have been marathoning Neon Genesis Evangelion. Platinum edition year, my baby. My baby. Now I know that there's the slim edition, but this is like, this trances the slim edition. My friend has the slim edition too. and 
Yeah, I was rewatching this actually because uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but I am part of the tabletop RPG podcast called These Warriors Are Terrible, and we are going to be doing a, uh, a campaign on this wonderful, wonderful universe. So I had to do my research with one of my friends who's going to be part of it with me, and yeah, fun times indeed it's been a while since i've watched this actually i think i was probably about 20 or so and i'm almost 26 i'm getting old <laughs> and uh yeah i love this i love this because it has like all the like really amazing fine notes there's the nicest booklets in each of these dvds it's amazing like here let me let me show you um actually i want to show you volume one because volume one has another goodie in here too. I uh, I've tried to keep this in pristine condition, but this is it's the DVD. Really nice stuff. Look at that. It is just gorgeous. And you open it up, and I still have. <laughs> I saw this Iron On sticker, or is it a tattoo? I don't even know. But I still have this intact. Uh, and these really amazing booklets. Just amazing booklets really great commentary in the booklets but then also um, in the discs as well look at that that is just insane it goes like so in-depth and I love that and then has these really cool inserts here like I've thought about cutting this kind of stuff out and putting it on my wall but I'm not doing it no way and it's great because it tells you all about the different angels as well so cool so awesome. I love it. I love how in-depth it gets because this is an anime I really, I really like to get in-depth with. And there's so much to think about and just so much to discuss and just so many, so many connotations. There's so much symbolism and so many metaphors. I love it. I love it. And that's why I have this edition of it because of that. So there's that. Uh, another thing I'm really excited for is this week, the Anohana movie is going to be playing at Young and Nanda Square in Toronto. Now, I have only watched the show. I have not seen the movie, so I'm really excited. I'm going to go see that on, uh, on Thursday, actually, and I'm probably going to cry my eyes out, but I'll be so happy at the same time. It's a very good slice of life anime. If you haven't seen it, it's on Crunchyroll. You can watch it for free. You can watch it as a premium member without any ads. Regardless, it's really great. It's not too long and it touches the heart. It's so good. So good. Now, as for things going on in my neck of the woods, I actually went to the Ripley's Aquarium of Canada with my friend Steve the other day, which was so amazing. It was so much fun. Um, the tour was actually pretty, uh, pretty short in comparison, but it is a really new aquarium that just opened in Toronto. It's very exciting. It's always packed. Unfortunately, that also means there's a lot of kids, so you can't really avoid that. Um, we were thinking maybe going during a weekday sometime instead of the weekend, but then I guess maybe they'll have, I don't know, um, field trips. <laughs> There's a lot of schools here in Toronto, so I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, but yeah, no, we had such a great time and we got to take lots of awesome pictures and we got to see like, well, we didn't see too many sea turtles, but we saw a bunch of sharks, a bunch of giant fish, and yeah, we saw a bunch of jellyfish too. The jellyfish were so wicked. They were like the coolest looking things ever. I love them. I love the little itty bitty jellyfish too. They're so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, we got to we got to see a bunch of stuff. We got to see some manta rays too. And yeah, I'm just looking at the booklet now. I'm like, oh my god, so many good memories. So we have to go again. I had so much fun. I had so much fun, Steve, if you're watching this. I had a blast. Uh, we ended up going to the gift shop and I got this cute little, um, cute little sea turtle, this baby sea tur turtle. I just had to. It, w it spoke to me. It spoke to me. And then I got this cute purse of this koi, koi fish. So pretty. So pretty. Now, unfortunately, it does not fit my phone, so Ugh, that's okay. It's a good little little change purse. But yeah, so there's that. Uh, another really thing, uh, another really cool thing coming up, uh, I believe it's going to be happening this Saturday, February 15th, is Kawaii Base. Kawaii Base is a really cool dance party that happens every few months. It likes to highlight uh, Japanese pop music and all that fun stuff. A lot, a lot of, a lot of fun things. And they usually like have shmups in the background that you can play as well. Uh, it's very cool. It's a, it's a really cool event that I definitely, definitely recommend checking out if you live in Toronto and you're really into Japanese uh, pop music. And if you just want to meet a bunch of people who feel the same, they even have like cosplay contests. Uh, my friend Craig, he's uh, the photographer for the event, Craig Simmons. 
uh, who goes by Loud Nights. He's really awesome, he's so cool, and I'm just here to support all the DJs that are there, him, and the event itself. I'm going to be putting details below uh, on the event in the details section, tell you a little bit more about it, location and everything that happens here in the city. It's going to be happening this Saturday, and I definitely recommend checking it out. I think I'm going to be wearing my ooh -la, la costume at this one, actually. I'm super, super stoked. Now, in terms of YouTube, things have been going insanely well. I feel like I'm just going to be thanking all of you every single week because every time there's always something that blows me away, that just totally blows me away. And the fact that I have already surpassed 3k subscribers is just mind-blowing for me. I'm just like, dang, like I don't even know what to say. I don't even know and I can't even fathom it all in one episode, right? So I, I just... I, I, I don't know how else to tell you this, but thank you so, 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 so much. So much. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I have so much gratitude for all of you and for being so chill and for leaving me your comments and telling me what your interests are, whether we have similar interests or not, and just being amazing people. I really support that and it's something I want to 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 continue seeing and I I'm I just can't wait to get to know more of you I really I can't wait to get to know more of you and yeah so thank you thank you uh, my patreon is also another thing that's been going really well I actually reached my first milestone that milestone was to start supporting other patreon creatives twenty dollars a month's worth of of supporting others and uh, I decided I was gonna do kind of like a highlight for each of those patreon creatives that I would support and this week it is Pushing Up Roses. She is an amazing lady. She creates these really amazing PC game reviews. She's just a really awesome person in general, and she always teaches me a little bit more about PC games each and every time. So I had to give her a shout out, and I had to give her my pledge. If you haven't checked her out, you must. You can check her out on YouTube up here, and I've put her Twitter in my details, and I put her Patreon link as well. I definitely suggest supporting her if you can definitely do. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for being such an inspiration to me. Uh, aside from that, I also want to thank a n bunch of other um, uh, Patreon pledgers here, patrons, uh, as they say, and those people are Mark Udarby, Udarby, Udarb, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Brooks Magruder, Sabriel, uh, Nick Gibson, Patrice, the Japan Code, and Mylan Karpinski, thank you so much, guys, for pledging and for showing your support. And thank you to everybody else who has showed their support, whether that's through moral support or that's through promoting, just giving me the encouragement that I, I, I need in this. <laughs> I really appreciate it very much. Uh, now, in terms of YouTube, uh, it's been a really busy time for me, and I've had to put certain things aside. I know I was talking about merch a while ago, something that I haven't had as much time to delve into just with all of these game releases. It's been insane, but I can finally delve back into it fairly soon, I think. So I am going to be working on my design for my merch, and I'll be selling that on a store in the coming future, maybe in the next month month or two, just to be realistic about this. In terms of purlers, I'm going to continue working on those and get better at that, and I will be putting those up on my shop as well, so stay tuned in the next month or two, definitely. Uh, in terms of YouTube shoutouts, I have a lot of people I want to mention. Some of those people are Yandman26, who's really great and who sent me a really awesome game called Spectrobes, which I will show you in my next uh, pickups video, but really nice of him. I want to I wanna give him a big thank you for sending me that game. It really meant a lot, and it's a game I'm actually really interested in checking out, too. Uh, Retro Robbie, Silencer775, Kyarita, who has some really amazing uh, videos, these time-lapse videos where she just creates art for, for people as, like, commissions. She has a really amazing deviant art. I want I want an avatar by her because she does the cutest avatars ever, ever. I want a banner by her too if I could, but she's kind of hard to get a hold of, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the Japan Code, who I mentioned earlier. Uh, Charla in Japan and Pushing Up Roses. Why not, right? So I want to give a big shout out to all those people. They're really amazing. I definitely recommend checking out their channels if you haven't already, just because they're amazing people. They have amazing content. They're really nice people. So. Let's definitely, like, let's unite. Let's unite this, this giant community of, of passionate people, right? So, yeah, that's, uh, 
I think that's it for YouTube. I'm just, I'm, I'm just so stunned, just so amazed and so thankful. So thank you all again very much. Another thing I actually wanted to mention that I'm considering doing, I mentioned it on Twitter very briefly, but I was considering maybe starting a new channel where I do Let's Plays. I know a lot of you have requested I do Let's Plays, and it's not really something I necessarily want to do. Um, it's fun, it's very fun, but it really depends on the genre. Like, while I do love JRPGs, I'm not sure if I want to delve into JRPGs in Let's Plays, uh, necessarily. Maybe, maybe not. I like having that private time to myself. I. I like having privacy with my JRPG, so it really all depends. But what I do want to do for sure are visual novels. I really enjoy visual novels. I'm not like totally new to them, but I only really just started getting into them maybe a few years back. And yeah, I would love to do visual novel reviews just, you know, to practice my reading voice and just really get into some narrative, some just very, very narrative based games. Uh, I'm really excited to be playing some Otome's as well. Otome, I did not even know Otome's existed, really. I remember um, asking people, I'm like, hey, so uh, does anyone know of any visual novels where you play a girl, right? Because I'm really interested in that, where I can, I don't know, get into like just get in that perspective of things because I, I feel like I always just play as guys and that's totally fine because I really like anime girls and I think they're really cute um, but I could go both ways with that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So I I would like to have it from my perspective in my gender, right? So I'd be really, really interested in checking out some of those. I already have a bunch of suggestions and a bunch of things. So if you guys are interested in seeing another, like a separate channel, um, specifically on Let's Plays, I'm curious to hear if you are for it, against it. I, I'm for it, you know, and I think I'm probably going to go ahead with it regardless. But it's something that I'm considering doing um, in the next few months, definitely. But right now I'm kind of taking it easy and looking at what my options are and seeing where I can go. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you all think. So I think that might be it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in again very soon for another video. Please check out all the links I listed below in my details. I, there's a bunch of stuff there. If there's anything you're interested in, you can find it there. And yeah, I'm looking forward to talking to you all more. Okay, peace.